sorry, that's tomorrow night. I mean, good evening, Bethnal Green! That just does not hit the same, does it? No. Anyway, welcome to my YouTube special. I did get in touch with Netflix, but unfortunately they said no. Apparently you've had to do one of these comedy things before. So I don't really know what I'm doing up here, because I've never actually lasted five minutes in my life. But hopefully I get a good photography, look, good photo for the old hinge. So photographer, wherever you are, no pressure, but the future of my dating life does depend on you. <laughs> now, speaking of photography, that is actually my day job. And I do actually earn enough to pay off a mortgage. <laughs> it's not my own mortgage, it is my landlord's. <laughs> but two years ago, I did get my first ever job in sports photography. And now it was the, one, of, one of the biggest games in world football. It was Sutton United v Barrow. <laughs> I know, it's amazing. Now, that game just so happened to coincide with one of the hottest days of the year. It, it hit 40 degrees in the UK, and it doesn't hit 40 degrees in the UK very often. But even less likely, when it does hit 40 degrees, would you expect to see a ginger in the middle of a field? <laughs> now, there I was, hiding under the shade of a floodlight, <laughs> moving along with it, as it went across the floor. I was just about surviving, feeling like one of the hobbits as they returned the ring of power to the fiery depths of Mordor. <laughs> now, you remember the game, uh, The Floor is Lava? Well, I was playing that, except I was also playing The Light is Lava and I'd forgotten my Factor 50 sun cream. <laughs> You know when sometimes you're out and about and you get caught in a sudden downpour and you have to do that weird run jog thing in order to get to the next shelter? Well, I was in that weird run jog thing just to get to the next shade patch. <laughs> now, I feel like I've learned a lot over the last eight weeks of comedy training, but most notably, I've learned who my true friends are. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at you, front row. Well. I usually message them and say, oh, do you fancy going for a pint? And they will always message the same response. It's, oh, I'm busy. Oh, I've got no money. Who is this? Please delete my number. <laughs> now, when I offer them 26 pound tickets to come and see me shit myself live on stage, <laughs> I couldn't hand out the tickets fast enough. So, today's my 27th birthday. Thank you. 27 years today I was born, or 27 years and around nine months since my dad last got lucky. <laughs> now, I wouldn't... <laughs> this is my mother on the front row. <laughs> now, I wouldn't usually bring that up, but unfortunately, my dad decided to give me all the details <laughs> against my will. And so against your will, I'm gonna share those with you. <laughs> so picture it. It was a cold, dark October evening. <laughs> my parents were cuddled up on the sofa. The TV was on in the background and, uh, and, they, just, and, and they just put my sister to bed. All of a sudden, their eyes locked and it was on. Uh, and the, the TV being on in the background was quite an important factor because my dad had told me that the TV show Match of the Day was about to come on. Now, if you don't know Match of the Day, it is a footballing show and it's got quite an iconic theme song. If you don't know it, here it is. Right, cut. <laughs> so, my dad actually told me that that rhythm, no, no, that music kept him in rhythm. That's an awful detail to know. That's what I seems making me. So I decided, I got curious, and I decided to look it up on Spotify, the theme song. 41 seconds. <laughs> 
My dad managed to create me in 41 seconds. Or if you'd prefer, my dad managed to create me in under a minute, which is quicker than most people spend on a microwavable ready meal. <laughs> that is probably one reason why I haven't lasted five minutes in my life. <laughs> Until tonight. I've been Jeff. Cheers!